Hello gamers, our previous videos mostly consisted of online games. In today's video, we'll be talking about an offline game which is absolutely fun to play. The game is Traffic Rider. Welcome to Gamer Phoenix, I'm Phil and you're watching Banterbox video on why you should play Traffic Rider. For more exciting gaming videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So without further ado, let's get on with it. When I first started playing Traffic Rider, it gave me the feeling of playing Road Rash and Subway Surfers combined. I have played both the games. I admit, whenever I play it, there are times when I look for the space bar to hit bikers racing past me. But then the feeling sinks in that this is Traffic Rider and not Road Rash. The premise of the game is that you race in the open highway with and against the open traffic. Get points, upgrade and move on. The game starts with default tilt controls or rather accelerometer controls. There are four gaming modes, career mode, endless, time trial and free ride mode. You initially start with a career mode and then gradually upgrade to the rest of the modes. There are ample of bikes to choose from and they are fun to ride. When the game starts, the first thing to grab your attention is the graphics, which is, lack of a better word, just awesome. The gameplay can get problematic at first. Not that there are bugs in the game, but rather the controls get kind of difficult. Luckily, the game has options to shift from tilt controls to D-pad to handlebar. And for those who like to play with a controller, Traffic Rider has that option too. The gameplay is straightforward and controls are twitchy. It's all a matter of getting used to. During our gameplay, there are difficult levels which require you to overtake a certain number of vehicles in a certain number of time. This is by far not easy. It will require several retries until you can complete the mission. Don't let this monotony fool you. Replaying this mission over and over again is what brings more fun in playing Traffic Rider. Not to mention the game is very addictive. The best part about this game is that it's an offline game. The game will access the internet only to play ads. Ads are non-intrusive and does not affect the gameplay in any way. However, it can get irritating at times. Another aspect of the game is that when you play, you actually have to concentrate as if you are riding a real bike. Judgment is of utmost importance. Trust me when I say this. Speeding is the easy part. The easiest part is meeting with an accident which you obviously don't want to meet. Accidents cost you precious time. Even one accident could cause you to lose that level. So be careful. Challenges can only be overcome with persistence. Bear this in mind when playing this game. What we loved about this game is the simplicity. Super attention to detail and the graphics. These are sufficient to get any casual, serious and hardcore gamers interested to play this game. So should you download this game from Google Play? Oh yes, you should. This game will appeal to those who prefer an offline gameplay mode. We hope you liked our video about Traffic Rider. If you did, please hit the like button and not then the dislike button will convey the message. Follow us on social media for regular channel updates, gaming memes and other information. Check out our entire banter box playlist up in the cards or down in the description below. We'll see you again next time. Until then from all of us here in Team Phoenix, happy gaming.